Hello, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. I am here today to open this box. This is an expedited parcel I received from Canada Post. That I am certain there is a board game in here. Sounds like it's a board game with metal money. I am guessing it's a Kickstarter I backed in 2018, but I don't actually know for sure. When this goes out as an official unboxing video on YouTube, we'll at least know what it is. But for those of you watching live, we're going to find out together what's in this box. Alright, that is definitely a board game. No one under three years old is allowed to see this game. Oh, it is not at all what I thought it was going to be. Awesome. So what we have is the new Zaya expansions for Zaya Legend of the Drift System. We have the new Missions and Powers box. We have the Cell Sword Mark II. And we have the Embers of a Forsaken Star box set. And then what's making all the money are the new denomination of coins. So we have the new metal coins. So we're going to type this box aside. See, I totally thought this was going to be a completely different game. So we're going to take a look at what's in here. Actually, I'm glad to get this. So the metal coins got in here. Try to take one out here. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that out here. But nice, solid, copper-looking 200 credit coins. 200 space bucks, whatever they're called in here. We'll open up this from... So Zaya is a sandbox sci-fi game where you are given a spaceship and you get to do whatever you want with it. You can be a merchant, you can trade, you can do pick up and deliver, you can just go explore the galaxy, you can do cargo missions, or you can be a pirate and go harass the other players. Or you can run contraband. Lots of options, very open. One of the complaints in the original system, though, was that now and then you would get systems set up so that the pickup and deliver aspect, a good that was demanded was right next to a good that could be delivered, and it was way too easy to do that and too powerful. So that's something that's supposedly fixed in this expansion. So the Missions and Powers is a 54-card mini expansion for Zaya. 21 new ship ability cards and 32 new missions. And it is really well packed in here. Alright, we got cigarette style opening, but those never seem to actually work very well. Trying to open. Alright, again, we're a little too, probably a little too zoomed out. This is the problem with recording this far away. So there is a set of rules. One rule reference card. Then we have a whole bunch of new powers for the existing ships, it looks like, which is pretty cool. Yeah, new powers for the existing ships. So we've got the blue ships, pictures of the ships on the back. So that's pretty cool. So now when you get a ship, you'll have more options to pick from. You've got level three, two, and one ships here. Then we have a ton of new missions. We've got transport missions, assist missions. Boom! If you see a red one, these are uh, illegal missions. Counterfeit missions, and that's it. So, new transport missions, new assist missions, boom missions. Drop and detonate explosives. Interesting. And counterfeit. So we have two new legal missions and two new un illegal missions. Uh, they have different priorities. They have different success and penalties. Very cool. New missions is always a good thing. Significant deck here. So that is the Missions and Powers mini expansion. We'll put this off to the side. And there is a little rule reference card as well. I'm going to the local game store tomorrow, and I was planning on playing Arkwright, and now I'm really tempted to bring Zaya. All right, up next, this isn't going to be a lot in here. It's one new ship. This was originally a Kickstarter exclusive from the first Kickstarter they did, which I did not get in on. Uh, sorry, the second Kickstarter they did for the reprint of the game. 
uh, when they did the expansion, they allowed people to back and get this. And I figure, why not? One more ship. I was picking up everything else anyway. So I decided to go with this too. It's a nice sturdy box compared to the last one. <coughs> so we have the ship card for the Void Wasp. Along with that will come with its powers. This is a level two ship, not one of the starting ships. So we have the Void Wasp, the ship card, and two different powers, as well as special rules just for this card. And the interesting thing, and one of the things that made me back this, is this also acts as a Kickstarter exclusive NPC. So now when you play the game, instead of having three NPCs, you have four, which to me makes the game better for a four player game because now you don't have one player who's missing out. So in addition of just using this as a player ship that people can buy, you can use it as an NPC, which is what these rules are. Right here, or you can have it as a ship you can buy as a character. The last thing that should be in here is the base. Oh, and a rather unique blaster that's only for this ship. That's kind of neat, too. I'm using the zoom. <coughs> so here we have the new Cell Sword miniature. As usual, for Zaya, pre-painted comes that way. I think that's fantastic. Really well done. So that's everything that comes in this Cell Sword box. I don't think there's a lot of point in putting it back in here, but we will just for now, just to get it out of the way. We're going to toss some money in there for now as well. All right, now. Embers of <coughs> Embers of Forsaken Star. This is heavy. Surprisingly heavy. This is a solid expansion. Alright. Rules off to the side. So we have a rule rule book with a list of all the components that are going to be in here. Again, looks very similar to the original rules, very dense, very small font, but everything nice and color coded so it's easy to find. It's like quite a few new rules. Ooh, especially here. I don't know what this is, but what's well, the lore? So the background on the new planets, at least that doesn't look overly complicated. Something I know a lot of people are excited about, solo rules for Zaya. Which includes a nice four-page book and a campaign. Well, three pages if you don't count the campaign log. A new Fame Point track. I don't know if this replaces the original or if it's... Huh. Not sure. Two-sided. Both sides look the same. Maybe it replaces the original. Maybe it's just for solo play. We got some new ships. A level three ship here. Level 1. Oh, a new level 1 ship. That's cool. So a new one for starting off the game. And a new level 2 ship. Then we get to a selection of punch boards. We have new sectors, new quests, new upgrades that only take one slot. That's interesting. I'm not sure what these are with the arrows on them. We got some random upgrades. Oh, no, I don't know what those are. Two more new systems, a lot more new tokens. And two more new systems and a lot more tokens. Okay, these question mark ones obviously go on the planets because there's a spot for them in each planet. So there must be something random now on each planet, which is neat. These ones I was looking forward to. So these particular systems, actually the last one too, have meteors that actually move around on them, on the board. I thought that sounded cool. Oh, we have one that punched itself. 
This is the new market economy board. I don't know the full rules for it, but I know now prices will change. So the more people sell goods, the less they'll be worth. Worth. There's a comet. Then we have white cubes. I'm sure that must be a new resource. White cubes. Blue crystals. In the original game, there were red crystals for damage, so this must be some new type of damage you can take. I guess it'd be ion, but that's totally off the top of my head, not based on any rules. We have stands <laughs> for the ships. We have some additional money at 1,000 credits. And then we have really nice, of course, pre-painted ships, because that is one of the things. So yeah, I gotta, hopefully you can see these, but these are the comets for those particular map tiles where the comets actually circle around. These would each go on a stand and you'd actually move the comets around. Again, fully painted. These are actually translucent. You can see through them, extremely well done, well painted. We've got a chunky space station looking ship that goes this way. And we have, of course, two more comets and the new ships that came with the game. So I kind of hold those out best I can. Little tiny ships, slightly bigger ship. Again, fully painted, nice ink wash on them to give them some black lining. Very impressed. We have some cards. Put these aside. We'll take a quick look through the cards. So we have new titles, three new titles. Oh, they're blank. Interesting. To claim the title, that, so for three blank titles for people to create. Hopefully they're not all blank things. Yeah, three blank, whatever EVs are. Uh, we've got the powers for the new ships. We've got some solo campaign upgrades, quite a few of those. Again, I don't know the solo campaign. We've got NPC stats showing off. Well, that's neat. It's just a, a way to track the NPC stats. We've got more solo play cards. So there's a whole bunch of solo play cards here. Looks like quests. So special rules, earn at least six bucks from selling cargo and or buying in this game. So merchant master, things you can earn in the solo game. And then whatever these EV cards are, which is something new. So loyalty, mob rule, power crisis, sounds like events. While this card is in play, immediately when this card is drawn, roll a d20. All neutral planets are outlaw planets. All neutral planets are lawful. So all the they chose a side. Uh, this card does not leave play. So this is some kind of new event system. So more events, put those over here, more titles, these are actual titles, yep, not blanks this time, so a whole bunch more titles to earn. We have a whole bunch more mission cards, wow, a whole bunch more mission cards. So we now have Cargo, Arms Dealer, Private Eye, Coerce are the new missions that have been added. Again, half of those lawful, half of them not. We have a new NPC called the Kiln. And then we have the new ship cards. Some new player summary cards, which I'm assuming will take care of any changes to the rules from the original. So a significant number of new cards. We got new counters, new miniatures. Overall, it looks pretty good to me. Pretty much exactly what I was expecting. More Zaya awesomeness. So that is the newly delivered Kickstarter copy of the new expansion for Zaya's of the Legends of the Drift system with the mission and powers add-on pack and the Kickstarter exclusive Spell Sword Mark II. I am Mo Tuzano, the tabletop bellhop. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our latest video. You can join us Wednesday nights on Twitch at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, where we record the Tabletop Bellhop Live podcast. Also, watch YouTube on Sundays for an express version of that same live show. For Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo Tuzano.
Good night and game on.